Their memory, Jalel Renim, would rather keep buried. But after a controversial article in a Swedish paper was published about his brother's death 17 years ago, resting in peace is no longer an option. Israeli forces killed Jalel's brother Bilal in 1992. At the time, a Swedish journalist, Donald Bostrom, made suggestions Bilal's organs may have been stolen and sold off by Israeli soldiers before the body was given back to the family. Although the family has no proof of this, they say the circumstances surrounding the event have always troubled them. The Israelis never took our permission before carrying out an autopsy. After he was killed, my brother was airlifted by an army helicopter to Israel. This was a wanted man, a terrorist according to them. They shot him several times, so why then supply him with blood and steroids and go to such lengths to move him to a hospital? He was already dead. We were called at midnight to collect the body. It was all stitched up and as if the body was empty. We were told to bring cement to bury the body with. The soldiers watched as we dug the grave. According to the recent article written by Donald Bostrom recounting claims he made years earlier, Palestinians and UN workers told him they suspected Israeli soldiers were trafficking Palestinian organs. The article points out that then Health Minister Ehud Olmert was leading a campaign encouraging Israelis to register for organ donation because of a huge shortage. At the same time, it says, young Palestinian men were disappearing. Days later, Israeli soldiers would bring them back dead with their bodies ripped open. Given the lack of evidence provided in the article, many have been surprised at Israel's strong reaction. This is a blood libel that has all the characteristics of a racist calumny. This is why we thought that um, no one could look to the other side. It could entail uh, physical aggressions. Uh, we've seen that happen in the past. We don't want this to happen in, in Sweden, that's all. Palestinians as high up the echelons as late President Yasser Arafat made accusations against Israel of organ harvesting. While no conclusive proof has been provided, Israel has never seriously investigated the matter, despite requests. The Ghanim family say they regret not carrying out their own autopsy on Bilal. They say out of respect they didn't want to dig up the body and carry out more tests. But without independent forensic evidence, this case remains based on allegations that are very hard to prove. Shireen Tadros, Al Jazeera, Jerusalem.